Hello folks, sun's out, I've got my lucky model 3 hat on, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty nervous, truth be told, um, but we are going to go and do some test driving in the land yacht today, which for those of you that don't follow my weird car naming Procedures is our 2001 BMW E39. Uh, some of you that have maybe seen some of the videos on the how to blow up a Toyota inverter will know that uh, I've been a bit of a muppet and managed to blow up not one but two Toyota inverters by not having the right settings in them. So don't do as Damien did, it's wrong. Hopefully, if all my filming works out, you will be able to see uh, some voltage, current and power readouts from the VCU in the video later. Uh, just be aware that things like the RPMs and the temperatures and stuff like that are just meaningless. Uh, the things you, you'll want to watch will be voltage, current and power. So. Sooner I start this, uh, the sooner we f we find out. So, all right, that's enough of my talking. Let's get driving. This is probably when it's all going to come apart for me. Nothing like having confidence in your own work, is there? Here. I'm using second gear uh, for takeoff here. So we're going to go a little bit further down the road here and we'll go for a gear change and see how our 530D gearbox uh, likes that. Hopefully it'll like it a lot. Better than the previous gearbox with the busted synchro, which was no fun. Got to get away from this. There's too many cars and pedestrians around this part of the world here, so we need to get further down the road a bit. Okay folks, here goes nothing. First real drive of the land yacht. And we're going up to third gear. There we go. Painless. We're now driving in third. Let me get the window up here. I put a bit of air on for myself. It's a rather warm day. Now we're doing 40 miles per hour here now. 3,000 RPM. Uh, we're climbing a reasonably steep hill here actually. So this is uh, kind of scary for me, I gotta, if I'm telling the truth. Um, kind of lost my nerve with this stuff a bit there after the, the explosion on the last time. I'm sure you can understand was kind of scary. So also on this occasion I continuously have to continuously apply power, so that's another you know pretty good stress test of the system here. You'll be able to see it hopefully if this la uh, laptop does what it's supposed to do. You'll be able to see the, uh, the re 
data from the VCU. Um, uh, the gearbox is going great so far. About 45 miles an hour now. About 3200 revs on the motor. Definitely going to have to uh, ease the suspension down because um, it's kind of set. I've got BC coilovers in this car and they're set uh, quite high because of the weight that we had in here with the calb cells. Uh, but we don't have that weight in here anymore now. We've just got the BMW hybrid pack. stop here and jump out and leave you guys recording I just want to check and see if there's any kind of warm coolant or anything else going on here So even putting my finger in on the on the metal, the aluminium um, coolant passage from the heat sink uh, just doesn't, it's just stone cold. Uh, so that's a good sign.
crazy junction that doesn't give me any kind of priority on it. If I can reverse park a little bit better than I did the last time. Okay. And well, there you have it, folks. Uh couple of quick test drives with a total of eight and a half miles there, so not bad. Okay. Alrighty folks, so we are charging up here now after that drive. Um, car performed very well, as you will hopefully have seen. 
and I uh, put the finishing touches on here um, on our Prius inverter. Yes, it's now officially part of the BMW family. So that's our E39 uh, first test drive uh, complete. Hope you've enjoyed. There will be more test drives and various power testing and all kinds of stuff uh, coming up soon. As always, don't forget to dislike, unshare and unsubscribe. We will see you in the next semi-exciting episode. And until then, folks, well, it's a pretty simple one today. Happy land yacht test driving.